السلام على خاتم الأنبياء والمرسلين نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين This is section 5.5 and it is about graphs of sine and cosine functions We will learn here in this section how to graph sine and cosine Let us start by understanding the graph of y equals sine x Okay what would be the graph of y equals sine x? If we choose points as usual to, to graph any equation, we choose some values for x. So let us choose these values from 0 to 2 pi, pi over 6, pi over 3, pi over 2, okay? Let us choose these values and use the calculator to evaluate to find the values of y. What do you see? Uh, we are going from 0 to 2 pi, okay, from 0 to pi, uh, from 0 to pi over 2, increasing, but then decreasing from pi over 2 to pi, increasing from pi to 3 pi over 2, and then decreasing from 3 pi over 2 to 2 pi. If you sketch the graph, this is this would be the graph. For example, the point 0, 0, so this is the point. 0, 0. Pi over 6 and uh, 1 over 2. Pi over 6 and half. This is pi over 6 and half. So if you plot the points from 0 to 2 pi, so x is from 0 to 2 pi, this is the graph of sine x. Okay, this is the graph of y equals sine x. What do you see? You see that the range is from negative 1 to 1. The graph does not uh, go uh, further, greater than 1 or less than negative 1, okay? From 0 to 2 pi, we call it the period, okay? The period of sine. Why we call it the period? Because if you continue, this is the graph in one period from 0 to 2 pi. If you continue the graph from 2 pi to 4 pi, you will find the same graph. Because you know, when we add 2 pi, we get coterminal angles. So sine and sine would be the same. So sine 2 pi is equal to sine 0. Sine two pi, 3 pi would be equal to sine pi, and so on. For one complete period would be 2 pi. After 2 pi, you get the same graph again and again, the same cycle again and again. So this is the graph of sine x. The domain of this graph, all real numbers, the range is from negative 1 to 1. What else do you see? You can notice that the graph is symmetric about the origin. This is the origin. This is the origin. The graph is symmetric about the origin. So sine x is an odd function. Sine x is odd function and for odd functions we know that sine negative x would be equal to negative sine x this is the definition of odd function f of negative x equals negative f of x so sine negative x would be <clears throat> negative sine x for example sine negative uh, 30 would be equal to negative sine 30. So you can always deal with positive angles and you can change negative degrees to positive degrees. So the domain is all real numbers. The range is negative 1 to 1. The graph uh, extends indefinitely to the left and to the right. It goes to the right and to the left. No gaps, no holes in the graph. The graph is continuous. The graph of sine x is continuous. The period is 2 pi. The period is 2 pi. The pattern repeats itself in every interval of length 2 pi. The function is odd. Sine negative x is equal to negative sine x because the graph is symmetric with respect to the origin. So let us solve these exercises. True or false? The graph of y equals sine x is symmetric with respect to the y-axis. 
is this true or false? The answer is false. Why? It is symmetric with respect to the origin, not the y-axis. Okay, this is the graph. It is not symmetric about the y-axis. It is symmetric about the origin. Okay, true or false? The graph of y equals sine x has no gaps, no holes, extends indefinitely in both directions. Yes, true. Okay, this is correct. Uh, fill in the planks. The period of the sine graph. What is one period of sine graph? 2 pi. The sine graph is symmetric with respect to. Symmetric with respect to what? The origin. The for the sine graph is all real numbers. The what? What is what is consists of all real numbers? The domain. The domain of sine is all real numbers. The range is from a negative one to one. Okay, this was a short introduction to y equals sine x. We continue.